My name's Chris, I'm a gold prospector here in Victoria, Australia, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I recover targets from the ground using a gold prospecting metal detector. There are three different types of metal detectors, dedicated gold prospecting units, dedicated coin hunting units, and hybrids. This mini tutorial is gonna center around dedicated gold prospecting units that have a constant threshold. Threshold is that hum you can hear. The coil picks up a disturbance in a magnetic field, this threshold hum changes. And that's how you know that there's a target in the ground that you need to dig. Listen to how the threshold changes. Dedicated gold prospecting machines don't have a pinpoint function that operates on their coil. So you need to know exactly where the most sensitive part of your coil is to help identify where the target is. In the case of this coil, there's a metal ring that rings the complete outside of it. Meaning the most sensitive part is basically right at the tip on the edge here. Watching the very tip of the coil, I'm going to swing the metal detector back and forth very slowly and as soon as it makes a noise, that's going to draw one side of my X for pinpointing. And we're going to back it off till the noise disappears and go forward again. That means that our first line is about here. We know it's on this line, we're going to turn 90 degrees and do the same thing. We're going to walk up this line that we've already drawn in the ground. There we go. And so we have our other line. Now I literally have an X drawn. You don't have to draw it with your finger. I usually just keep a visual eye on where my coil was and that'll give me a rough location. Running the mini pick today because I forgot my big one. The first thing we want to do is clear off any leaf litter because that makes it very easy to lose your target. Then we have to recheck the target because we want to make sure that it's not a piece of junk. If it was in this leaf litter, it would probably be a piece of rubbish. You will learn your metal detector over time, whether or not the target is deep or small, depending on the noise that it makes. I know this is a small target and it's probably quite shallow, so I'm going to take a light scrape of the top off until I get an even layer of dirt underneath where the target was. Small pile. Then we recheck. Target got louder, so we now know it's in here. I can discard this dirt. Again, just a small layer because I know it's a small target and shallow. All right, we're almost there, so we can discard this dirt. There's a big rock here we'll flick out of the way. We'll make sure it's not in that big rock. It is not. And this should be the last one. We should get the target out by the sounds of it. Yep, target is out. So now we're going to do the same thing for the pinpoint in the pile of dirt that we already moved. Alright, it's right on the end here. Okay, using that X method, I now know it's on this edge. By the sounds of it to me, it sounds like a shotgun pellet, but you never know. Okay, we got it first scoop because I already had marked out where it was. What we want to do is roughly halve the amount of gravel that we have in our scoop. It's not in that. We're going to put half of this back in. Alright, empty it out. We've got half in the scoop, half in my hand. It's still in there, it's not in my hand. Alright, we are going to just check this big rock because I'm near a hard rock area. <laughs> That's a gold specimen. I can see it. <laughs> oh, I really thought that was going to be a shotgun pellet, but there you go. We actually got a little gold specimen. Look at that. Even though I got a gold specimen, I want to show you what you would do if you had a very small target in here. When you have your dirt in your hand and you're down to the last little bit, you want to make a line in your scoop. And let's just say we put the rock up this end here. Because the gravel is in a line in your scoop, you can tell exactly where it is in your scoop by slowly pushing that line across the sensitive part of your coil. So if we slowly push this across, we know there's no target there, no target there, nut, nut, nut. So we now know it's in the back because it's making a noise only at the back. No noise, noise. 
and that way you know you can just dump out everything in the front of your scoop and have a very small amount of dirt left because you know where the target is going to be. And of course there's one last final step, you want to refill your holes because that is the right and correct thing to do. If you can, you want to put your dirt back in the hole the way it came out, scrape your leaf litter back on top and that helps keep our bush nice and pristine.